54 countries covering more than 30 million square kilometers. Africa is a mosaic of cultures and growing economies. Future economic growth will depend on expanding infrastructure, improving healthcare, and increasing municipal services. One service, often overlooked, that transcends political boundaries is carcass and organic waste disposal, a service provided by vultures. Il n'existe pas un animal sur terre qui puisse faire aussi bien le travail d'écarissage que les vautours. If vultures disappear from the space, there will be lots of carcasses there. Where are we going to take them? African vultures span the continent. Many species travel rapidly over long distances, identifying carcasses from the air as they follow herd animals like wildebeest and zebras. The Egyptian vulture can migrate over 6,000 kilometers twice a year. Here are the paths traveled by four individuals. The hooded vulture travels shorter distances. In West Africa, it is found mostly in cities and towns where it disposes of carrion and other waste. Here, two individuals work in communities in the Gambia. The white-backed vulture soars above the savanna, covering wide ranges in search of food. This individual flew from Botswana to Tanzania in the span of four months. Vultures are highly specialized and efficient scavengers. Their powerfully acidic stomachs neutralize bacteria found in decaying and diseased animals. We understand they're not pretty, but they provide a vital service. And that service is they get rid of carcasses, which would potentially spread diseases to livestock, to other wildlife, to humanity and they provide this service for free. And yet, these creatures, who play an overlooked role in our economy, are one of the most threatened groups of terrestrial birds on the planet. Mali, hooded vultures which clean waste at dump sites have not been seen in Bamako since 2003. Over the past 50 years, they have declined across Africa by 83%. Angola, white-backed vultures that once disposed of wildebeest carcasses have disappeared from the country. They've declined by 90% across the continent. Chad, white-headed vultures are almost entirely confined to protected areas. Throughout Africa, their population has plummeted by 96%. Sudan. Rupel's vultures, like all vultures, take up to six years to reach sexual maturity, and when they do reproduce, have few offspring. Their populations have decreased across Africa by 97%. The collapse of vulture populations is widespread and common. We are now living in the midst of the African vulture crisis, a wide-scale event with many causes. Loss of habitat for nesting, roosting and foraging, the trade in vulture body parts, and electrocutions and collisions with an expanding energy infrastructure are key issues. But the single greatest threat to African vultures is poison, contributing to over 60% of all vulture deaths. If we manage the issue of poisoning, then we have managed a bigger percentage of the threats that are affecting vultures. Vultures are especially vulnerable to the widespread misuse of inexpensive toxic pesticides because hundreds of them can unwittingly feed on a single poisoned carcass.
Eventually, these toxins cascade through the ecosystem, threatening other wildlife, finding their way into the soil and water of our communities. If the elephant is poisoned, for example, then vultures can feed, lions can feed, jackals can feed, so a whole lot of animals can die. Et lorsque une carcasse est intoxiquée et empoisonnée, ce n'est pas seulement les vautours qui sont intoxiqués, il y a aussi toute une gamme d'autres animaux voilà, qui sont parallèlement tués. Des bousiers et même certains micro-organismes qui font aussi bien le travail de charouillants qui sont éliminés. C'est un grand risque que les gens ne comprennent pas. Really it's not only going to affect vultures, it's not only going to affect carnivores, it affects livestock, it eventually affects humans. As vultures decline, the services they provide also decline. And in the absence of vultures, populations of less specialized scavengers may increase. Scientists think the consequences could be far-reaching. Ces charoyants de moins d'efficacité que sont les rats, et les mouches et les chiens errants peuvent être des sources potentielles donc de transmission de maladies humaines et animales. As vulture populations further decline, you're looking at consequences for environmental health, you're looking at consequences for the spread of diseases, but also the aesthetic value that vultures bring both for tourism and culturally. Africa's vultures travel across the continent efficiently maintaining balanced environments. Experts are concerned that what replaces the work of vultures will be costly for ecosystems and human communities. Si les vautours venaient à disparaître, donc les communautés locales seraient obligées de mettre en place un système de caricage avec un personnel à prendre en charge et des véhicules et du carburant et tout ça ça sera à la charge du contribuable. You cannot think about all these wild abyss carcasses lying all over the place, livestock no vultures to clear them, unimaginable. In 2017, the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species developed a science-based action plan to protect all African vultures across the continent. It is very important for countries, for governments, for communities to collaborate because it's, it's a species that cuts across borders, it's a species that covers a huge range, so we, we need to collaborate. The Multi-Species Action Plan provides a coordinated framework for vulture recovery. It identifies regional threats and actions governments can take. For example, the plan presents site-specific strategies to help manage population declines from animal trade, develop bird-friendly energy infrastructure, and eliminate the wide-scale use of poison. Healthy vulture populations and the ecosystem services they offer protect our communities, our environment, and our future economic development on a national and continental scale. L'importance d'une espèce, le plus souvent, on le reconnaît lorsque l'espèce disparaît. In just over nine minutes, this group of white-backed vultures did what they've done for millennia. They cleaned and processed a carcass from the community for free. Qu'il n'est pas tard et qu'il faut agir parce que le niveau de déclin de vautours africains est certes élevé, mais on a une marge de manoeuvre si nous nous entreprenons des actions fortes et urgentes. Shared species, shared priorities, a shared vision for the future. The time to act is now. To find out what you can do, please look to the Multi-Species Action Plan or its summary online.